Good morning, my name is Samantha Lackey. I am the provider here at Mountain Ear Hearing in Conover, North Carolina, and today we're gonna to talk about brain hearing and how we hear with our brain and not our ears. Our ears often get a bad reputation when it comes to hearing. And of course, our ears are the delivery system, but the brain is the true workhorse. It is responsible for turning jumbled sounds of noise into coherent messaging and that is called auditory processing we're going to look here just a second at this board with the head here to kind of go over how this happens so we have three parts of the ear okay we have the outer ear right here up into the eardrum we have the middle ear and we have the inner ear okay so sound travels in the outer ear up to this eardrum and it starts that eardrum to move. As that moves, it vibrates these little bones right here. I'm going to erase this so you can see a little bit better. It vibrates these bones. There's three little tiny bones right here. And as that starts to move, it also sends us an electrical signal into this cochlea, which is right here, the purple part. And that is what processes, there's over 30,000, we call them hair cells in this cochlea. And that sends electrical current. Your right ear sends it to your left lower lobe of the brain and your left ear sends it to your right lower lobe of the brain. Up here in our brain, these purple and uh, pink areas are where sound is processed. Those nerve impulses follow that pathway through the auditory nerve into um, pathway to the brain stem before arriving to the hearing centers. So it goes into the brain stem right here and then is transferred into the hearing centers. All this happens in a tiny fraction of a second. It's almost instantaneously, instantaneously after sound waves enter this ear canal right here. So it's very true what they say, ultimately we do hear with our ears. Just as our brain is responsible for hearing, it is also must take some of the br uh, blame when it comes to auditory processing. The ears still deliver the electrical current into for the hearing and but sometimes it's hard for our brain has trouble to process the, that and recognize sounds. This often occurs of aging, structural abnormalities, or untreated hearing loss. And that leads to auditory deprivation. It's where we forget sounds. The famous crime-fighting duo Batman and Robin was a great legend in the DC comics since around 1939. Of course, your ears and brain, they don't fight crime, but however, they do fight debilitating medical issues. Untreated hearing loss may be underlying symptoms for a larger health problems. A study at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine relates hearing loss as a greater risk for patients to develop dementia and Alzheimer's. Also, Hearing loss can lead to social isolation, uh, relationship problems between family and friends, loss of potential income uh, or earning potentials, depression, anxiety, and anger. The brain can forget what it's like to hear, making it more difficult to regain those pathways once individuals seek treatment. Now let's talk a little bit about keeping the relationship between the ears and the brain healthy. Scientists have been studying this for decades now, and the hearing manufacturers use this information that the scientists have come up with to better their, their hearing devices for individuals, for consumers just like you. The good news is the majority of hearing loss that's out there is age-related, is a sensory neural, in nature and can be treated with hearing aids. While hearing aids do not restore your hearing to normal, 
90% of individuals that have and use their hearing instruments report a greater satisfaction in their daily routine. To keep our brain healthy, many medical professionals recommend a good night's sleep, a regular physical activities, engaging in mind challenging puzzles like crossword puzzles, Sudoku, Sudoku um, things like that. Your hearing health care professional, we or as hearing healthcare professionals, we recommend a baseline hearing test around age 50. Now, if you're having troubles before that, you need to look into it. It could be something other underlying problems, but we want you to address that as soon as possible. Your brain and your ears are a dynamic duo, which work together not only to help you hear but maintain your overall health. If you or a loved one that you know are having issues with their hearing and having some problems, give us a call. We offer a free hearing test here at Mountaineer. Our phone number is 828-469-6068. Give us a call and we will get, our, get you on our schedule and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you.